Welcome back everyone to another Weather Glance video. In today's video, we'll be covering a potential severe weather outbreak in the East Central United States, all coming up in just a bit. All right, now on our first slide, you can see that we are looking at our composite reflectivity with multiple hail cores in these cells. Um, this is happening tonight into tomorrow morning. So there's going to be large hail forecasted um, as well as multiple tornadoes from supercellular, supercellular thunderstorms um, that will be happening tonight into tomorrow morning. So um, this is a very big event. That's why I'm naming this a severe weather outbreak because we do forecast multiple um, tornadoes from these supercellular thunderstorms that will be embedded within this squall line um, that is moving through. This is going to be convective line that's moving through Iowa, um, down into Illinois, and throughout Missouri. So this will be dangerous um, tonight, so make sure that you are staying tuned. We will be live streaming this, um, but let's get into our temperatures. And as you can see on our temperature forecast model from the HRRR, um, we can see we start off this morning with highs in the 90s throughout Missouri, which is going to help feed those storms as we have dew points in the upper 70s, lower 80s. Um, so we do have the right conditions, plenty of moisture and plenty of heat in the atmosphere for these storms to develop off of. So um, make sure that you are prepared this evening um, for those storms because tonight, whenever we get around 9 p.m., that's when those storms are going to start firing up um, and getting really severe. And we could see multiple tornadoes come from this. So have a NOAA weather radio handy and make sure that you are either watching this live stream or a news live stream. Make sure that you have some source of media um, to keep an eye on radar. Um, but let's move on. Here we go. We see the dew points. So we have dew points in the 60s as of this morning. But as we move through the later afternoons into the nighttime hours, you can see that we have upper 70 dew points, and these are really going to help feel those thunderstorms as we have plenty of moisture and humidity in the atmosphere with those high temperatures. So um, big severe weather event. And you can see um, that little punch of dry air. Those come from the storms downdrafts. So we have very significant downdrafts forecasted from these storms. Um, so we really do have to be careful with these storms. That's why I'm going to be live streaming tonight. This is a very significant event. Um, again, why I'm calling it a severe weather outbreak. So make sure that you are prepared for this evening if you live in the forecasted and risk area. All right, so here is our HRRR um, simulated infrared satellite. And this is basically showing you how cold the temperatures are at the top of the clouds. And you can see we have up to negative 70 degrees Celsius, which is about negative 75 degrees Fahrenheit up the top of these clouds. And some of these clouds can reach up to 50, maybe 60,000 feet um, in the atmosphere, which is going to help develop that really, really large hail that we could see. So we're talking maybe um, the HRRR is forecasting hail sizes up to two to three inches tonight. Um, so make sure that you are staying prepared. We definitely are expecting hail. The National Weather Service has um, issued its SBC outlook for hail, and we do have um, a 10% hatched risk for southern Iowa and northern Missouri, I think in parts of Illinois, Illinois as well. As well. So um, let's keep an eye on these for sure, because tonight we are going to have a big severe weather event and a potential outbreak as well. All right, so we're looking at our convective available potential energy on the HRRR forecast model. And here you can see that we do have a plethora of energy moving through the area um, in that enhanced risk. We have up to 5,000 joules per kilogram ready and ready for to feel these storms. So everything is coming together and we do have a very serious situation here, especially with those shear, with that shear. So with these strong updrafts punching into that shear rated atmosphere, um, we really are going to have to keep an eye on this because we definitely will have supercellular thunderstorms this evening. Um, very big event today. So make sure that you are staying prepared. Um, let's move on to our bulk shear. Um, this is from the surface to six kilometers in the atmosphere. This shows you the shear difference. And in some portions we have up to 85, um, 85 difference in nautical shear so um, this is really showing you that we have good rotation in the atmosphere for these thunderstorms to develop off of um, and once this once these thunderstorm updrafts puncture those shear in the atmosphere, we are going to see potential um, tornado development from these multi-supercellular thunderstorms. So make sure that you are staying prepared as we move through the evening. Um, make sure that you don't have any plans to go out during the evening if you live in southern Iowa um, to northern Missouri and out in western Illinois because you do not want to be out in these um, conditions as we move through the night. All right, we're looking at our supercell composite, which basically puts everything that we've been talking about together into one forecast model for um, supercellular development. And you can see that our supercellular composite does seem to be going up to maybe 24 on the scale, which is a very, very high um, level on the supercellular composite through Missouri and Iowa and into Western Illinois. So we do, we are going to see supercells tonight. Um, the question is how many are we going to see? But we are definitely going to see um, many supercells tonight. 
and most cells are going to be supercellular thunderstorms as the rotation is immense in this area um, as well as very large hail sizes so make sure that you are staying prepared in these evening hours um, into tonight and early tomorrow morning um, and make sure that you do have a media source ready as i said um, we will be streaming but let's get on and continue all right, and this is our significant tornado parameter. Much like the supercellular composite parameter, um, this puts everything together into what kind of um, tornado risk you have. So we're looking at, this is the potential for a significant tornado. Now, this really just tells you um, if you what the percentage chance you are going to see a tornado is. And usually when you get into the fours and fives, that really does say there will be some tornadic activity in the, within that area. Um, that does not mean that you will see a tornado, but as of right now, you can see that we do have high levels of significant tornado parameters. So, um, down in Southern Iowa, South Central Iowa is where I'm focusing our main tornado risk on. Um, it is right on the border of Missouri and Iowa, and really we are seeing that potential for tornadoes today. So make sure that you, if you live on the Io Central Iowa, Missouri border, make sure that you are prepared because it does seem that tornadoes will be a very high threat this evening. Um, and in the Western Illinois, but not as much of a threat for tornadoes as much as supercellular development and large hail and damaging winds as well. All right, now here is our three hour maximum updraft helicity, um, two to five kilometers in the atmosphere. And this is basically showing you how powerful those updrafts are. So normally in severe weather, we usually see about those grays to yellows down there. Um, but here we use, we are starting to see those pinks and even those browns, um, those light browns in the atmosphere. So that is going to show that we have very, very significant updrafts, maybe up to 200 miles per hour going upward into the updrafts. And that's going to be able to support some very large hail tonight. So if you live in Southern Iowa um, and in the very utmost Northern parts of Missouri and even in the Western Iowa, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're prepared for those hail um, events that are happening tonight because we are going to see hail um, throughout here. So make sure that you are prepared for hail because we could see um, multiple large hail reports tonight and um, make sure that you have everything inside such as vehicles so that they do not get damaged if you live in the enhanced risk because we are seeing that potential for large hail tonight all right now we're looking on to our national weather service storm prediction center outlooks and this is basically putting everything all together so as you can see in that enhanced risk um, we do have portions of southeastern iowa um, northeastern Missouri and western Illinois. Um, those are all portions that are going to be experiencing the brunt of this severe weather. So make sure that you are prepared if you live in at that enhanced risk. Now the slight risk, you do not have as much of a risk. I would still keep um, the NOAA weather radio handy or anything such as that so that you are prepared for severe weather. But the enhanced risk is really where we're focusing right now. All right, we're moving on to our tornado um, outlook on the National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center page. And we already have a 5% chance for a tornado to happen within 25 miles of a given location. So that means if you pinpoint a location such as a city within 25 miles, that means there's a 5% chance of that occurring in some kind of 5% 25 mile radius of that location. So a tornado is going to occur within somewhere in this 5% region. Now this 5% region is very large. It's um, it's probably about a thousand square miles wide, um, but you can see that uh, we do have a good chance for that. So somewhere within that 1000 square mile wide region, we are going to see a tornado drop down. So make sure that you do have um, your NOAA weather radio handy or media source so that you are prepared for this evening. All right, now we move on to our damaging wind outlook, and you can see that we have a hatch 30% chance for um, damaging winds. Now, um, the HR, the HRRR is showing wind gusts in on one cell. Um, this does not mean it's going to happen, but um, in northeastern Missouri, we do see a potential cell for with 100 mile per hour downdraft gusts, which means that could be used straight line winds. Um, we could see that. So definitely damaging winds here. Um, I'm forecasting 60 to 80 mile per hour wind gusts with damage with these damaging winds. So make sure that you are prepared if you live in that 30% hatched risk, because that is really where you're going to be seeing those damaging winds happen. All right, here's our hail outlook. So as you can see, we have a couple regions with um, hatched hail um, in the in the 15% region, but mainly we're um, focusing around Iowa and Missouri. That's really where you're going to see that um, main hail risk. And up to portions of Colorado, of course, you know, you have hail up there. Um, usually people are used to that up there, but here in Missouri, um, you're going to be, you're going to want to keep an eye out for this hail because it is going to be large tonight. So make sure that you have everything inside that could be damaged by hail. And if you can't, make sure that you um, maybe park your car somewhere where it won't be um, as 
substantial for a risk of hail damage. Alright, I want to thank you all for watching today's video. Big thanks to today's sources, Pivotal Weather, where all the forecast models seen in today's video come from, and the National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center, where you found those wonderfully put together outlooks for us to use for information. All right, I would ask that you consider subscribing for more U.S. forecasts free of charge and consider following the Weather Glance official Facebook page for more inside information and complimentary personal forecasts when you message me on my Facebook page. Again, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.